morning. How are you doing? I missed you. It's been a minute, right? My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel if you don't know who I am because it's kind of, I'm obscure. YouTube is doing everything they can to make sure nobody knows who the hell I am because my message is power. My voice is power and they don't like that. Anything that frees you, anything that helps disconnect Neo from the from the machine, you know, that's my job. I'm not Morpheus. I think I'm more Neo than Morpheus, but once Morpheus, you know, untapped Neo, Neo was ready to do it for everybody, right? So I look at myself as more like a Neo, but yeah. I want to get you on plug, baby. I want you to be free from this, free from the YouTube universe. But we're in it, right? This is my voice. I'm trying to get it out, and I will use the hell out of YouTube like a $10 hoe, I'm sorry. I will use YouTube to no end if it gets the message out. Working for the light, baby. Oh, and this is, it's clean. I just took a shower this morning. <laughs> By the way, at Sunny, St. Sunny's, yeah, I, I mentioned him before in my videos. He was a homeless guy, gentleman, veteran. He has a brain tumor and he's dying basically. And he was homeless for like seven months in Newport and they took him in and people were like, just everybody knows him and everybody loves him. And they, he finally got an apartment, but it's just a shithole. It's just a room, like imagine your room, just your bedroom and your bathroom, that's it. There's no kitchen, it's a thousand bucks a month. <laughs> He's like, yeah. So there's, other, there's worse, there's, there's uh, rooms upstairs that don't even have a bathroom and you have to share a bathroom communal bathroom and shower. Can you imagine? Yeah, it's $800 a month. So apparently for the poor to be in Newport, yeah. My vehicle is literally, my my Dharma is cleaner and nicer than in that apartment. Not that, not that he, I mean, it was just run down. It was, uh, it was, he was like, these are slumlords, man. So then he's like, he's, it is what it is. He's, he was very blessed to have it. So he's not complaining, but at the same time, Somehow we deserve more. The poor deserve more. And I want to be of service to the homeless. I want to be of service to the poor, to that, to the, to the mentally ill, to children who are homeless. I want to be of service to them. And that's what I'm going to try to focus on. I'm not good with people. Here's the thing. It's like, why pick me? I mean, if God wanted to pick somebody just to do YouTube videos and I could be out in the middle of the desert or in the, next to the ocean and nobody know me and I don't have to make physical contact with people, this would be perfect. <sighs> but he wants me to actually mingle. And I'm not good with mingling. I gotta be honest. Just people are so toxic. A lot of times people are, even the healers, even people that are healing are still toxic and they don't realize it. So you're always, that's why I talk about, you know, um, give as you go, you know, I don't know, heal as you go, I don't know, but you got to be part of it, and I don't know, I'm just, I'm just like, ugh. but I, I do, I want to help people, I want to be involved, and once I get into it, trust me, I, it, it's like a momentum, it's, it's a snowball effect, but I got to figure out how to get into it, I mean, obviously the people that are in charge are just scum, and they're, and they're rich, because all the money that's supposed to be going to helping people like this, these people, are going into their fucking bank accounts, and I wish I were in charge of the IRS because every goddamn person in charge would be audited. Everybody. Everybody. I'd be like, where did this nickel come from? I'm serious. I, and I'm not even like that. I'm, but I know these people are robbing the shit out of the poor and leaving them to suffer. So, yeah. I didn't mean this video to be kind of heavy, but I get emotional when I talk about that because I'm seeing it. I'm in it. You know. I want to be Robin Hood. I want to get. I want to get that money, and I want to give it to the poor. I want to help the poor. I talked about mobile units where people could like just drive around in big trucks, and all they have is just food and water for. And they go around looking for the poor people sitting in their cars, huddling in fear and wondering if the cops gonna tell them to go fuck off. And you know, and you have people that millionaires that live up on the here that are monitoring land that's not even theirs, calling the the p cops on these people that are just poor and trying to travel and get some, a good night's sleep. And I'm telling you, it gets my dander up, man. I'm supposed to be thinking positive, oh shit. Love and light. I'm supposed to be living in love and light, and I do. I do every day, I'm thankful. I've been, I've been saying my, 
I've been saying my affirmations. I've been saying thank you and I love you to God and the universe and everybody. Even the people that are attacking me negatively, psychically, doing the bad juju, I still am going to just throw out some I love yous. What are you going to do, right? Meet him, meet him with force? Come on now. Can I crack some necks? Sure, but I'm not. that's not me. I'm not the bad guy. I learned a long time ago, and my son was a great example when he was little, right? Some kid, little bully little shit kid, pushed him down on the playground, pushed him down. And some old lady was a yard, was a yard monitor, and she obviously wasn't paying attention. So she, she didn't see my son get pushed down. But she saw, she saw my son, my, she didn't see my, but my son got up. When my son got up, he, he went after the other kid, right? So this old lady turns on, she sees my son attacking this other kid. And basically, it was my son retaliating for that. I mean, he could have cuddled on the ground and cried like a little girl. No offense to girls. But, yeah, but he didn't. He got up and he started fighting back. And this old lady just jumped on his shit. And he told her, he's like, look, he pushed, he, he even explained to her, and she, because my son had a speech impediment, she was like, ah, well, he was cussing too, and I'm like, and I found out what happened, I asked my son, what happened? He's like, well, he pushed me down, Dad, and I'm like, and then what happened? And then I got mad, pushed him, you know, I pushed him back, and I got in trouble. And she said I said bad words, and I didn't, and I'm like, son of a bitch. So I went, I corrected that, trust me. I went there, I laid into him, I'm like, my son is not like that. He doesn't go around pushing kids and being mean to kids, so that's the bullshit. And all I did is talk to him and find out the, what happened. And he, the, the, But she didn't see the other kid pushing him first, right? So all she saw was him retaliating. My point being that for me to retaliate against bullies and other bad guys just makes me look like the bad guy, which is why I'm not supposed to do that anymore. Which I have to live in love and light, which I do. And I love you. I do. It's rough, kid. I'm just trying to, just try. I'm just thinking about homeless, and I'm trying to figure out what we can do for the homeless, and we'll figure this out. We need to. We need to steal the money back from the, the thieves, the the politicians. I mean, literally, they all need to be in jail. Why in the fuck they're not all in jail right now? Right now, we as citizens should all get together and just go to D.C. and just just have them all. And this whole Gitmo, this whole fucking January Sixers, all these. People that are in jail for 15 months since it started, all because they went, they were, they were Trump supporters. These poor bastards, man. And they were letting them in the Capitol. They were, oh my God. They took away barriers. I'm like, why are they removing the barriers? Why would they ever? Why would the cops ever remove barriers that were around the Capitol in the first place? Just that it kept people out, and then they removed the barriers, and people said, oh, I guess we can go up into the Capitol. And these poor bastards are in this prison getting beaten. Oh my God! I don't even. Yeah, we need. There needs to be a change. There needs to be a karmic fucking beat down on the elites. Period. The homeless are suffering to the point where it's just gonna. They're, you know, French Revolution, baby. It shouldn't have to come to that, but these people need to be in jail. I'm not into the whole bloody part of it, but they need to be. They need to be in jail for the rest of their fucking lives. What they're doing to this country and to this world. Whew. Good Lord. Anyway, homeless. Let's focus on the homeless. Sorry, this was so deep. I'm just, I get really passionate about homeless and people, poor people that are suffering, especially children. Mm-hmm. I'll get pissed quick. I'm going to focus. We're going to do some. This is a good fired, fired up. This is good. This is good. This isn't anger. This is, this is passion. This is, yeah, 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 reckoning. We're going to, we're going to take, make it right. We're going to make it right, people. We're going to do this. I'm positive. I'm very positive. I'm going to live in love and light, but we got to take these bastards down somehow. There was only cops in the world, right? Where the fuck are the cops? The real police. The real good guys. Like the Lone Ranger kind of guys. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is crazy about you. And it loves the universe loves the poor people. The meek shall inherit this earth. And I'm going to make sure I give it to them. That sounds good. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to try to come out with a lighter video later. I'll try to do something funny. I'm thinking something. Make it for this one. It's a little heavy, but it's important. People are suffering. Anyway, we got to make it right. I love you. I'm going to let you go.